All right, welcome back to our tag and martyr, uh, our tag and daughters. Um, and no, it's not another magazine Monday, but this is a magazine, but it's for a number three, number one Mark three infield in three hundred three. So we're going to go over our um, some of the parts that we cleaned we cleaned up in the um, evapor rust, and we're going to look at them here because I got them floating around these. These parts were cleaned by, uh, I left them in there for two weeks. And we're going to look at some of these uh, parts on here. So this is the brass butt plate, as you can see. It does have a little bit of evapor rust in there. Now, evapor rust is environmental friendly. It is not toxic or harmed, harmful in any way to any metals or anything like that. But you do got to wipe it down afterwards. Um, and it removes rust. So... Ba the brass brass uh, butt plate is in pretty decent shape, so I can take the polisher to that and make that thing polish right up and look at it. Um, so let's look at the magazine here. Now it was rusted really bad, and of course it took all the rust off of it, and it cleaned it up pretty good. And I lubed it, or well, I didn't lube it yet, but I cleaned it down and uh, scrub all the uh, leftover evapor rust on it. And it kind of gave it a, I don't know if you can really see it on here, a frost, frost freighted, if I can speak right, uh, a frost coating on it. Now, I did this on some of the items, like this barrel band here, as you can see. It actually blued it, which was great. Because I was kind of hoping that's what it would do with the whole rifle, but it didn't. But it did remove a lot of the pits and stuff off it, off it like that. Here's the bolt disassembled. Uh, it looks much better than it did before. The uh, trigger guard here. Um, definitely this right here moves now that it's free of gunk and uh, 50 years of uh, being used in the African desert or cosmoline left over on it. Here's the uh, ear protectors for the, um, you can see it looks a lot better. Here is definitely restored. Here's a swivel. Nice and clean. Here's one of the springs that was in the uh, in the stock there. It's blued. Uh, it still had its finish. Uh, one of the bolts or the yeah the nuts here. The um, pig head, as I call it, bayonet lug assembly. Still got some rust pitting in there, but the rust is out of it. Uh, it stopped rusting. I uh, see the and step the roll. Mark here, this gun was made in 53. The barrel is still dirty inside. So, um, there's another swing loop. Sling loop, I mean, sling loop. I can't speak right. There's a butt plate uh, screw. That's in good shape. The other one's in good shape. Uh, a lot of little screws here are cleaned up. No longer rusty. No longer in danger of fading away to history. They all turn out good. I still got strong rifling in it. Um, I'm going to get the, uh, the rifle and show you some of it. Some of the bluing on it is uh, was salvageable. I didn't have to restore it. So this gun's technically not restored. It's basically just cleaned. Um, let me get the stock. It's behind me here. I got to glue the other ones, but I didn't do nothing to the stock other than spray it down and clean it out. So, um, I'm probably going to wash it with Dawn next, and, and then we'll go from there. Because they got the metal parts in here, I'm going to go ahead and protect them, paint them after they're cleaned, and uh, then lubricate them so I don't have to worry about them rusting underneath it. The hand guards are going to have to be glued where the cracks are right there. So I'll have to scrub this out again on the inside. And then that's the short one. And then the long run, it has a real long, it has a crack down the length of it. Not in two yet. So I'm going to got some Elmer wood glue. It works pretty good. We'll put the glue in there, hold it down. We'll clean this up. So this is what the metal looked like before with all the rust on it and stuff like that so this one hadn't been put in the cleaner obviously but as it was before and after 
So that's how much evaporust does. So it doesn't. So if it had any bluing left, it wouldn't. Have, it wouldn't have took it off, because the reason why is there was bluing left on this, on this, and on this, and it didn't take it off. It just cleaned the grease and the grime off of it. So if you're going to use evaporust on cleaning rifles, uh, especially if you want to restore one, it seemed to be a pretty good idea. I did. I felt that I didn't have nothing to lose on this because uh, it already looked like a garbage rod, but it's not one. So let's get the rifle bell, barrel out. So now we got the rifle barrel here. As you can see here, it's nice and clean. You can see where the years of that is. There's a little bit of more of that evaporust I need to get off there. Turned out pretty good. The the uh, rear sight works now. As I loosen it up, so try to tighten it down a little bit there, where you can get it to move incrementally. So it didn't move at all last time. So there you go. Hard to do that one hand. Found a couple loose spots, took care of that. Uh, there you can see right here, the rest of the barrel looks good around there. That's where I got it lubricated right here, I should say. And then again, this is the 1953 model number one Mark III. Got a little bit more, oh look. There you go, there's a little bit more of that grime I gotta clean off right there. But that's because I'm letting it work on the Springs there to clean it up. This side is looking good. So it's got like a frosted color over it, as you can see. Where the bluing was deep at, it's still there. So it turned out pretty well. A lot better than what I thought it was going to be. So that's where we're at now. Now we're at the part where just got a couple more pieces to clean up. And then we'll be ready to uh, reassemble it. And then take it to the range and see if we can shoot the, uh, we're going to shoot some blanks in it, test the cartridges out, uh, make sure head spacing looks good enough to fire a real round in it. And then we'll fire some real 303 down range with it and get it to clean up. And we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch your good folks next time.